Hello again, okay, so we're back for another video and today I just want to show you the work that I have done on the eastern arm of the breakwater now that it's more or less finished this uh, is about three or four days worth of work on finishing off this part of the breakwater and so the last video you saw that there was a lot of lines running all the way along and as I showed in that video I was uh, filling in the blocks all the way along so I've finished doing that on both sides like so and back on the the lines that were down here in the water and I've also obviously filled in the main platform here and the side down here now the reason it took so many days to complete is because it was all done in sections of four so where on this main arm of the breakwater I could click on one block here for example and then fly all the way down to the other end of the breakwater and generate the entire row of blocks in between here I couldn't do that so it had to be done in in fours and then four 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 all the way along and then all the way back down and obviously as well they come out one block every four along so it all took a lot longer and it goes deep down into the water here and then I had to come back and do all of these underwater sections as well and then not just this section of the underwater but all the way down to the bottom you're probably finding it quite hard to see this now which is also another problem and another reason why it takes so long to do because you can't see anything so you have to put glowstones around to make sure what you can see but as you can you might just about be able to see hopefully that it goes down and down and down and down and down all the way to the to the seabed it took a very very long time to do but I'm quite happy with the way that it's come out it looks good on this side and then on this side as well again this took even longer than that side because it not only goes in four but you've got this kind of spacing in between each section so it looks like a nice pattern but it also has this gradual slope effect which is what I wanted and then again as well having to do all the details underwater ignoring all these blocks that I've put in now as well it connected down here with this platform in this platform and then gradually went down and down and down and further down and down step by step by step until you get to this massive wall really because the sea is deeper here in Minecraft than it is in real life so that the actual breakwater would come to about this sort of level but then I still need to connect it to the bottom of the sea floor so really you just got this massive wall but again regardless of that I'm very happy with the way it's come out as you can see I've been putting in the blocks as well these blocks in real life are towed out every one every month or so and deposited on the seaward side of the breakwater to uh, make up for the sections of the breakwater that are lost underwater by the gradual erosion of the the waves of the sea so I still need to do finish these off there's going to be some more blocks and it needs to go all the way down to the other end but let's ignore that for now as you can see I'm trying to be creative with the way they are and I'm actually using Google Maps and satellite images that I have to try and place those blocks in a, as realistic a position as possible and from up here you get a nice sort of look of the seasoned arm of the breakwater in real life it is shaped pretty much exactly the same as that so I'm very happy with the way that's turned out. It took about two or three days just to sort of make this to like this sort of section where I'm pointing at the moment and then I went off and worked on the western arm and came back a few days later to sort of fill out this curved end of the breakwater. It took a long time to do and again underwater here this side it all needed to come down 
gradually underwater like it does in real life. Many, many layers. It took a long time. And here, the piece of you know, what, what, what's that saying? The piece de la resistance, or something like that. My my final piece on this end is this structure at the end of the eastern arm of the breakwater, which was created in case shipwrecks. In case ships were wrecked against the breakwater or anything like that, or trying to get into Plymouth Sound, sailors could seek refuge on the breakwater until they were rescued, and the point was that they would climb up, up into this, and they'd be protected up here in this metal ball, um, which in real life, as I'm sure you can guess, offers not much protection, would probably be dreadfully scary if you were to be shipped wrecked on the breakwater <laughs> waiting for survival. So it was never actually used for that purpose, but it's still there. In real life, the ladder kind of is made of metal and comes down the side and stuff. And there's these uh, circular iron bars surrounding the ladder. So I tried to recreate that effect. And the ladder actually works as well. So if I stop flying around and land, then I can hopefully Ooh. come and, and walk up the ladder, each section, etc, and get up there. I've got the, the speed turned up to 76%, let's try again, so this is how fast it would actually be if you are playing the game normally, that might make it a bit easier. Let's turn creative mode off so I stop flying around the place as well. Might make it a bit easier, yeah, there we go, to slowly climb up. And you can't actually go into the ball, but you can climb up there, have a look around, so it's all very realistic, in my professional opinion. And that's how far I've got so far, with this eastern, eastern side of the breakwater. Now when it's all properly finished, there's going to be sort of wooden signs placed all around the area with when you when you sort of walk up to it in the game mode or when the young people walk up to it in the game mode say if, there's, if you imagine there's a sign here you'd click on the sign and it would open up a, a bigger screen with lots of written information about what this object is and they'll generally be all placed all around around giving insightful details about the creation of the breakwater and whatever else really, all the, all the learning that is involved with the Plymouth Youth Sailing Breakwater Project. So thank you very much for watching my video so far. I hope you've enjoyed and I hope you agree that it's uh, coming along and looking quite good. Thank you very much. Goodbye for now.